Well, this is a bit naughty, isn't it? Put an article below in the description. But just let me talk for a sec. So, Andy, Andy, I can never pronounce his surname. Bourbon, Bernan, Andy, Andy Bernan, the um, mayor of Manchester, or the little leader of Manchester. Um, don't really know politics very well, by the way. Has come out on uh, Manchester BBC Radio and has um, said that they're trying to get rid of out-of-town drivers in Manchester, a.k.a. Wolverhampton, Sefton, and I think Knowsley as well is a big one. But, ooh, Marsley. Um, but Wolverhampton and Sefton are the big ones in, in um, Manchester, really big. Like over, I think over 10,000 in Sefton. And probably well more for um, Wolverhampton. So they've been trying to do it with everything else. So they just had discussions... And what they're trying to say is, if Labour gets voted in power at the next elections, that then they will stop or reduce or control cross-border. Now, I don't know if that will affect where, like, if you drop off somewhere, you can grab something back or whatever. I don't think it's going to be that extreme. But I think it's going to be along the lines of, if you are licensed in Wolverhampton, you can't work out of side of Wolverhampton to a certain degree or something like along those lines. I don't think nothing set in stone, but they've already got a mini plan, uh, which he really revealed as well. Is you know, the clean air zone in Manchester, it's not activated yet, but what they're gonna do is you get a um, I think special, special deal or you get cheaper whatever if you're a taxi. So, what they're doing is if you're not a local taxi. Greater Manchester Taxi Company um, license, then you're not you're gonna get get the benefits or the cheaper clean air benefits. But if you're not, then you're um, not gonna get the discount. So I think they're gonna try and push them out that way through the clean air zone thing. Um, but by the signs of it, yeah, this article that I read, I'll put the link below. They're gonna try and. Stop cross-border hiring. I don't know how it's going to proceed. I don't know the ins and outs of it. But yeah, Wolverhampton could be getting kicked out of Manchester. The problem is, though, where are they going to go? And that is the problem. So as an example, right, just say, so what happened back in the day? Forget about Wolverhampton, Sefton. So a lot of Manx come to Liverpool, registered with Sefton, because Manchester was slow or expensive or whatever the reason they had. And then they drove back to Manchester... These lads live in Manchester, they're born in Manchester, but they drive for Sefton. Um, to put how extreme it is, right, when Bolt launched in Manchester, um, if you were Sefton plated, you could drive for Bolt in Manchester, but you couldn't drive for Sefton in Liverpool because they didn't have an ops licence or something along those lines, or they weren't active in Liverpool. So at the time, I was Sefton, and I, could, I was signed up to Bolt, but I couldn't go online in Liverpool. I couldn't go online in Sefton, the area. But if I drove to Manchester, I could go online. And that's the type of problems that we're having. Because uh, when I went on, um, got on board, I was like, oh, yeah, you Sefton, Manchester? I went, there is no Sefton, Manchester, mate. I went, I'm Sefton, Liverpool. And he goes, ooh, no, we're not launching Liverpool, yeah. I went, I got the flipping email saying that you're going live, coming on board. And he went, yeah, but Sefton, Manchester. I went, there is no Sefton, Manchester. And that's, I think that's the kind of problem we're going to, going to have. But the problem is, and the big problem is, especially for Wolverhampton and that area, but imagine if Manchester go, no. No more Sefton plates working in Manchester. Where are they going to go? There's going to be ten to 12,000 Manchester drivers, Sefton Manchester's drivers down to Liverpool and work Liverpool. It's just going to kill the trade. I don't know how they're going to do it or how it's going to proceed. It's going to be very complicated. But imagine the 80,000 Wolverhampton drivers all over the UK heading back to Wolverhampton. <laughs> Wolverhampton, sorry, by the way. They'd be like, I think there's like five private hire licences per street in Wolverhampton. That's how big Wolverhampton is. <laughs> but I can't believe it. What do you reckon of this then, guys? I was sat there seeing the article, I was like, what? So I was reading it then going, I can't even like think about like how it works on a work or what's the plan. Do you know what I mean? The clean air zone sounds pretty good, which means it'll kind of put people off working in Manchester. Do you know what I mean? So if you're driving up from Wolverhampton to work in Manchester or like surrounding areas, um, 
then when you drive into Greater Manchester, you'll get charged more than a Manchester plated driver, or a Greater Manchester plated driver would do. That sounds like sounds like a good little little plan, like literally just try and put them off a bit. But I don't know about just banning them completely. It'd be nuts. It would be crazy. The whole taxi game, the private hire game, would be up the wall, wouldn't it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. See, in my opinion, what they should do to fix this problem, stop sending me job miles away, <laughs> um, fix this problem is literally, if you, I'm, I, like, I live in Liverpool, yeah, licensed Liverpool, right, if I drop off in Manchester, why can't the Uber app just literally automatically set my destination home and then works me way back home? It fixes the problem where we can still cross border eye, we're not we're gonna be empty or nothing like that. But what it means is I can't get up in the morning, drive to Manchester empty and work all day. I would never do that anyway, but a lot of people do. And I think that's where the problem lies. When Liverpool's at home or Manchester's at home, everyone drives to work it, even though they don't live they don't live here. I think that's the problem more than people see Wolverhampton place and go, Whoa, look at him coming here and working at you working here. He might live and work and breathe in Liverpool, and he's a scouser, but he's Wolverhampton. Do you know what I mean? So, technically, the plates are a problem, as in there's too many of them. I said this in one of my other videos. The main problem is when Liverpool, Sefton and Knowsley were struggling to kick out the plates, then the balance of everything is all equal. Do you get me? So I'll just say Liverpool, Seth and Nosey can produce 10 plates a day. Obviously, there's a lot more. So that's 30 new drivers in Liverpool a day. But then about 30 new dri old drivers leave. So that's just how they, how it works. Like a nice circle. As the councils can't produce any more badges, there's people leaving the trade. People leave this trade a lot. They do. But the problem is, when there's 30 drivers trying to get through the Liverpool councils, right, and the state you're leaving, all equal, fair and balanced. But then when you've got 100 Wolverhampton coming in, with the 30 Liverpool ones, there's 130 coming in, and only 30 leaving. And that's what the outer plate councils have caused the problem. And it's not because there's out-of-town drivers driving into work. That is a problem anyway, which I think should be stopped. But I think the problem is, is when... The local councils are buffering or going slow. You can't then go and shortcut it and get a faster plate somewhere else. And that's what causes the whole ecosystem to fall. And I think that's what's killed the taxi trade, what a lot of people think. Um, so there's two separate issues with the same problem. And, yeah, I don't know how they're going to fix it. I really don't. Because there's people driving to your area and empty to work your area. I had a lad who got a mic. I, I got an Uber as a passenger the other week, and he'd done eleven thousand Uber trips, and he lived in North Manchester, and he worked here for every one of them. He's like, oh, I don't like working Manchester, so he drove to Liverpool and worked for eleven thousand trips, and he was from and he lived in Manchester. In my opinion, that's an issue because that's eleven thousand trips out of the local lads' hands. Do you know what I mean? Imagine if there's 10, 10 drivers doing that a day. Do you know what I mean? So, or 100 drivers doing that a day. Do you know I think that's a problem? I think if you live in an area, you should work in an area. Do you know what I mean? If you get a job to an area, try and get one back. But, yeah, I'll just repeat myself now. But yeah, the council thing is a big problem. And I don't know how they're going to solve it. But that Andy Berman and, and Labour looks like they're going to do massive changes if they get into power. Um, It'll be interesting. Do us a favour, guys. I know I probably rambled on a bit. I do apologise. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. And I'll put the article below the, in the video description as well so you can read it yourself. But, yeah, looks like Manchester is going to be kicking out Wolverhampton. Interesting. See you soon. Oh, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that jazz. You know what I mean? Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share the video. Check me out on TikTok as well. See you later.